Hello, guys and gals, me, Mudahar, and I got my fellow co-host, Caleb Oompaville, yes. and Nux Taku. And of course, as you all know, we've got <laughs> Willie Mac, our friend. Are you, you already lit up You already lit up a fat cigar today, man. You should have told me I would have brought a hole. <laughs> we got our boy, the bottom the W, w. Willie over here. The bottom W, oh God. You're not supposed to inhale it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even text work. <laughs> But uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, obviously Willie Mac is one of the best Tate Simps that we've ever brought onto our uh, call. It's true, here. I'm his biggest fan. The big, the top, <laughs> the top W channel is just a Tate hate channel right now, dude. I, I honestly, I'm going for love a fourth how... video too. We're at three videos in a row. I got another one, dude. I just love how like you've went down. Like you're the only dude that's deconstructing the rabbit hole. Down the rabbit hole. <laughs> There's no going back. <laughs> Crazy to think that the last time I spoke to Willie, we were watching, he showed me dog hentai. You showed me dog hentai! Is anyone going to believe that the guy that's an anime character was the one that didn't, wasn't showing the, do, the I have dog the, hentai? I have the video. I was... <laughs> Unbelievable. Dude, right. Last week we had Turkey Tom and I gave him the same bit. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, how, how y'all how y'all guys been doing actually for the last uh, for, for for the last week? What have you guys gotten into? I feel like we all have a story this yeah, so week. So I realized that Quebec is a it's the ass crack of the internet. You got me, Steven Crowder, and XQC as three Montrealers, and uh, I think this does not bode well for my future. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Kale, what about you, buddy? Well, I saw a UFL. Did you now? Hold on, wait. I a actually minute. saw. I this. actually saw the Falcon Nine decoupling. Uh, that's what I really saw. But it, I, it was a UFO, and in the moment, I was believing that it was a UFO, and I was like, "This is probably the Falcon Nine rocket that I just watched launch about an hour ago." But at the same time, it's a UFO for sure. So I saw a UFO. Uh, I believe in aliens now. Let's go. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're, we're when did you like we not up. believe in that shit? You're the most oh, conspiracy dude. guy I know, dude. I've been I've been on it since the, I was a little kid. All right. What, you know what started the, the alien conspiracy rabbit hole for you? Um, that's a good question. Did you see something, or did you just watch like a movie and now you're like, I'm in? Well, I was oh, maybe I was a kid. I uh, my parent. I used to live in Virginia, right in the woods, and uh, a lot that's of Fox News, a lot of Fox News on the TV, and they were always talking about illegal aliens, and I think that's where I kind of picked it up. <laughs> So, I'm not, I'm not sure if that's the same. No, oh, yeah, yeah, just he, was a, okay. he was a kid. He, he, I didn't, he know. didn't care if they were know. illegal. <laughs> uh, so, no, the movie Signs, I, I watched the movie Signs and it f***ing traumatized me for years. And I like slept under blankets as a little kid mm -hmm. uh, and just dreamt and thought about aliens. That the, the folds of my brain that are um, responsible for, for thinking about uh, extraterrestrial life are very deep and modeled. So we have a lot of... Uh, I have, a, I have a just very strong brain for believing in things that aren't real. That movie was scary yeah. until the aliens died by water. And then it's like, dude, they <laughs> came so to a planet stupid. that's like 70% water. It's fucking so the stupid. dumbest shit. Dude, and, dude I, I just, I love like when you guys get, no, go ahead, go ahead. I want to see more and more of this. Also, the World of the Worlds, though, the, the movie The World of the Worlds, they died from a fucking virus. COVID. Yeah, they got COVID and died. They all so got, it's like, the aliens it's got so COVID stupid. and died. If the aliens just Dude. were like a fucking bubble or they just weren't massive pussies and died from water, they'd be a lot scarier. But I think these aliens are real. What do you guys think? Uh, I Listen, man, I, I firmly believe that <laughs> I've already been anal probe. Like, I feel like I have been. Damn. Right? There's been I think I have been. I, I mean, I'll be honest. Like, I, I, I like to I like to I like to pretend that I repress these memories, but I don't. I think I I think at some point, like I'm one of the in surveillance gates for the aliens and shit i do firmly believe in this stuff okay i 100 percent. i i don't i don't like listen there there have been too many weird scenarios there have been times where i've driven like i've been driving home and shit and like i'm almost i don't know you see weird lights around where i live because i i live rurally now i don't live near the cities and shit this is like prime ground zero for harvesting human bodies so i don't know man there's some weird experiences from time to time too many for me to just say it's a coincidence at this point you know too many weird lights and shit yeah well uh cool I'm a hater, bro. There ain't no aliens. We'd have I some shit by now. I'm a hater. I'm a I'm fucking a hater. hater. There ain't no aliens out there. <laughs> okay, dude, have, have you seen Marvel's Secret Invasion? No, you haven't. No one's seen no. Marvel's Secret Invasion, the new Marvel show. So I was... Okay. Someone told me the okay, premise. He, and nobody like, watches Disney crap. Oh, no it's Disney? Disney 
None of but us I, adult I just, men. I heard the premise, and I was like, wait a second, this makes no sense. You have these aliens, right? These lizard people, and they are like these crazy es- extraterrestrial advanced race. They're an advanced civilization that can tra- hyper-travel and all that stuff. And they come to Earth, and they meet Nick Fury, and they say, we want you to promise us that you will help find us a home on another planet. And he's like, I promise I will. And he does it. Bro, what the fuck? What, what is he, a real estate right? agent? And then he says, go and find <laughs> something for yourself. <laughs> he says, I promise I will. And they say, okay. Yeah, why would Nick you. Fury and know about it, the best right? planets to go and habitat? <laughs> right? So he obviously doesn't do that. And then they're like, you broke your promise. We will now cause World War Three. And they try to wipe out the human race. So Ukraine is because of the aliens. That's the plot. I yeah, get it. Yeah. Dude, I swear to you, we're getting fucking striked in every capacity today, bro. COVID, Ukraine, did you guys, the red pill. Did you guys <laughs> see what uh, what Grimes said about Ukraine? No, I didn't see what the fuck she said. What? She said, wouldn't it be, uh, wouldn't this whole thing be a lot better if Russia and Ukraine just settled it in Fortnite? Bro, honestly, what she a said smart that. way to do <laughs> Yeah. And she's like, dude, I, finally, dude, the correct. Dude, oh, dude, there's just no way. Is this on, was this posted on X? Oh, I don't know. Dude. It's, it's just a video I saw <laughs> recently. And she, she, uh, she expects an applause and laughter uh, for her enlightened statement. But she is just met with. Um, embarrassing silence. It's really dude. I just wish sad. the U.S. stopped calling the AC-130 on the Iraqis in Modern Warfare One, bro. <laughs> what the? F- that's crazy. That that's uh. See, this is what this is why I love like social media and like f-ing some of these celebrities, dude. They say some of the wildest shit. Like recently, one of our favorite celebrities, Andrew Tate. You've been on the front lines watching every single video. Of this. I, How is it that your brain is still active? It's barely functioning. And then it's barely. I'm becoming Andrew Tate slowly over time. I mean, I mean, considering the last time you were on here, how you're dressed. Pe- yeah, people are <laughs> acting like Andrew Tate too. Is like, uh, like, like I've done all this like amazing digging and connecting the dots. It's like, no, dude. It's just go, go translate any Romanian news outlet. It's just transcripts upon transcripts and video after video of what Andrew Tate said. And it's just Andrew Tate being like, yep, I trafficked those hoes. Yep, we trafficked the shit out of them. Those <laughs> dumb bitches. Beat the fuck out of them and trafficked them. That's what I did. It's like, Jesus I'm sitting there God. looking at him I'm like, yeah, it seems pretty guilty. Like, <laughs> all right. This is what I, when I when I first like ever talked about him in my video, I literally was like, I, I think I was like maybe like the fucking three other people on the English side of the internet that was like, I'm not gonna go to Fox News or see, I'm just gonna go right to this like like Romanian news website and just Google Translate the page. I mean, yeah. shit, the way that he's talking, well, it's yeah, like, or just go bad. to Dicot or go read the indictment or whatever, dude. Like, probably the most frustrating thing is seeing how like. Uh, English speaking news outlets have covered it because they're all just focused on him being like a misogynist. It's like, that's like, we, we've covered that. Like two years ago, we knew he was a fucking misogynist or whatever. Yeah. Right? It's also not even illegal. Yeah, it's, it's just, just like, yeah, all right. But now it's like this guy, if he's trafficking people, like I feel like that should be the priority. Like Tucker did yeah. a whole interview with him where Tucker's like, so you've never been accused of or violence, right? And he's like, nope, never. It, Dude, the first thing it says on the indictment is, 14 cases of or whatever and then uh physical I, I violence mean, it's it's kind of funny it's like the whole internet heard him say that you know they have nothing on me and they just believed him yeah it's like do you know what's infuriating is he's gotten to the point where he's taken down all of his old videos off of youtube that people have re-uploaded like he's taken them down like they're mm-hmm. gone now and uh yeah he's now taken those same videos out of context and just cut it with like sad music and it's like he's cut out a part where he's like <laughs> You can't you can't be a pimp through fear. You have to be a pimp through love and respect. And he cuts it out and he's like, "See, I've only <laughs> talked about how I love women." It's like, bro, that's not what he's actually <laughs> saying in that video. Like in that same video, he talks about how you can't, you shouldn't pay the girls, and you should lie about like taking money for taxes so you could pay them a smaller that, percentage. Because girls that are part dumb is, bitches. Is wild. Yeah, wh- that part's wild. Let me handle the tax. Let me take. Let me let take. Thirty percent. Ta- like, imagine lying. Yeah. Imagine just lying about money that just seems so evil, right? That does, that's not very G. Well, that's and, then, and G. then the funniest thing is, like, the people that follow, it's like, yeah, but that's just being a smart businessman. I'm like, ah, oh, it's being it's a fucking fraud. It's literally <laughs> illegal. You can't do asshole. that. No, because, like, when we pay people, at, like, at our office, it's just like, the we literally, like, write them in their pay stuff. It's like, this is how much money that's taken out for taxes and payroll and all that shit. Like, it's all broken down, you know? Nobody can come to the fucking accounting yeah. and, like, say shit. Yeah, but I bet you don't have any women working for you, do you? Uh, absolutely. <laughs> that i need productivity bro <laughs> see with Whoa! women you don't have to give them the pay stuff you just take the money and pay the taxes for them <laughs> yeah yeah pretty Muda. much yeah, Mudahar. 
Don't you? <laughs> oh, you're the guy that fucking thought he got the the W over X XQC. <laughs> dude, that that was dude. I'll be real. My whole brain was so broken that discussion. Like, I wake up. I like okay, so. I, I quote tweet like because he's like you people like what's the problem so I'm like man my f- I'm paying for Twitter Blue I'm gonna write the paragraph today I'm gonna write the essay. The funniest because I got the that. funniest <laughs> comment is you guys were writing like essays back and forth and like so I think it was like Nick responded like this is the worst update Elon has ever made is allowing these longer tweets. <laughs> Today's episode of the podcast is brought to you by our friends over at ExpressVPN, ladies and gentlemen. Are you using your smartphone without a case? Well, you should probably get a case, but whenever you're browsing the internet, you should also get a VPN, which is like a case for your network stack. Every time you connect to an unencrypted network, basically cafes, hotels, airports, any place with a public Wi-Fi connection, your data is not secured. So any hacker on the same network can sift through, sniff around, wire shark out your personal information, passwords, financial details, anything secret and juicy, and basically go to town with it. And it doesn't actually take a lot of technical knowledge at all, too. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, to understand, your data is valuable. I've talked about it on my channel, on this podcast, everywhere. There are hackers out there that can earn up to a thousand bucks selling your information, your personal information on the dark web. And that information can be used for very nefarious purposes against you. So don't be a victim. Be prepared. ExpressVPN uses a secure encrypted tunnel between your device and the internet. Basically, hackers cannot steal your sensitive data as long as you've got your VPN active. It's super secure. It would take a hacker, a literal supercomputer, and a billion years to get past the encryption that ExpressVPN uses. And of course, it's incredibly easy to use. Fire up the app, click one button, and you're connected. And of course, if you want to use that on multiple tools like tablets, uh, you know, multiple phones, laptops even, you can have their application run on pretty much any modern internet-connected device. So ladies and gentlemen, secure your online data today by visiting expressvpn.com slash SOP. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N dot com slash SOP. And you get an extra three months free. Anyways, let's get back to the episode. Oh, because I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna write my entire statement. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just say what I have. I to want say. to talk about the I, DMCA stuff. Yeah, okay. I, I do yeah, too. Yeah, I'm down. Moody, you so want to recap it real quick? Before we get into the react, before you get so, into the react content, just, just mm-hmm. wanted to mention re- this week has potentially been the craziest case of DMCA abuse, uh, aside from the private stuff that we've been dealing with, Muda, with a mutual friend of ours, which is just right. horrible. Aside from that, there's also been uh, a kind of crazy thing. Um, where Guinness Book of World Records, they started DMCA striking channels that had the Guinness logo in thumbnails, right? So, like, uh, for mm-hmm. example, Laser Beam that shit's had a video. Crazy. You know, it's like, most kills in Fortnite or something like that. And he had, like, the Guinness thumb in, logo in his thumbnail, like, to talk about how he pulled something off. He got a strike on that video. And Mr. Beast's team removed every guinness logo from all of his thumbnails like this was a really serious thing that went on over the last like well, two well days. that's what terrifies me with all this dmca talk going around about like like i've heard destiny like at muda you were in that same uh, live stream say like oh we should just dmca people it's like dude we do not know the legal limits of where like this will be ruled or how this could go like this could be a mess mm-hmm. like if we got guinness well, fucking i, I striking said it with destiny i'm like imagine wh- how messy yeah. that could be on youtube especially when a bunch of small creators don't have any money to defend themselves well that's why i said with destiny i'm like you can start these dmzas but i'm like if the moment it goes to court and it turns out to be bad it ruins at least all Everything. of us like it directly because a lot of us do commentary here so we're kind of screwed like maybe like if if dmca goes the wrong way legally speaking right like and, and this is the way that it works for people who don't understand on youtube when uh you get when somebody doesn't like the cut of your jib or like somebody thinks that you've stolen their content they go to youtube they file like a five minute report with the system a dmca request and youtube immediately removes the video actually every single u.s video host will remove any videos the moment you send them a dmca request right by email to their legal team or whatever and the reason that this has to happen is because these websites in order to maintain safe harbor provisions have to actually um comply with dmca takedowns whether they're real or not that's not up to the website that's literally between you and the other person so when you send a dmca request you are sending legal paperwork to the other person right now it's true the moment i dmca strike willie right D- willie can counter like counterclaim that and say i own my shit now that moment in time the ball's back in my court and i can take willie to court and whatnot 
Now, even if I'm 100% in the in the wrong or something. I'm still f- cuz I don't have the money to go battle Muda. I lose that no matter what then. Yeah, exactly. A lot of people go in and even if like even like here's the thing, even if you end up winning, it's still a ferric victory because how much time have you spent? How much like f- money have you burned down? Like there's so many f- considerations to be taking in this situation which is why nobody wants to go to court right like caleb you don't want to go to court nox you don't want to go to court i don't want to go to court willie nobody you don't want to go to court nobody wants to do it so we don't want to start suing each other as streamers creators or whatever um also, but at the end of the so day blurry. that's all we have that, that that's the other scary part the line is really blurry mm-hmm. at one point at what point is your the commentary you add enough commentary to make it transformative if this is a debate among streamers that do this for a living the 40 the, the 80 year old judge that's sitting there that's talking to fortniters is not going to have any idea what he's talking about like no. at, at what point well is, i think even most lawyers would say that they aren't totally sure they can make the argument but it's up to it's still the precedent still needs to be set and it's terrifying to think of when the president precedent is set like who knows how far it'll go you yeah know? the other part of it to me is i'm, right. I'm not gonna lie i do feel like uh you know i feel like a lot of content isn't necessarily fair use online but uh it's just part of internet culture and i don't really love the idea of like f-ing with it and making the internet more restricted than if youtube decides to change anything i don't want f-ing more I shit agree. involved i'd rather just let the ball yeah. roll i've had people react to my content some really big streamers mm-hmm. and I haven't had any uh where I didn't get any positive impact out of it didn't affect my video at all but I'm not necessarily sure I would have gotten those views at either way you know and then I've had people yeah, react and I've I, gotten a ton it's, of views uh, from it. so it, it's uh- it makes a lot of sense to me, the old argument, which I agree with you completely. I like the Wild West aspect of the internet and that mm-hmm. everything is just kind of, uh, you know, just people just sort of do what they want. That's what makes it more appealing than traditional media. That's why people like yeah. it because you can I, be involved in it. But on the flip um, side, the other, the fun part about the Wild West on the internet is that you could criticize XQC for just sitting there and going to the bathroom in the middle of watching a video, and it's totally valid criticism criticism to criticize that content. Yeah, right. yeah, I wouldn't even say that's the flip side. That's seem, we're seeing we're in agreement. But uh, the the uh, what I was going to say is the old argument of pirating movies. Right, people were always like pirating movies. You shouldn't do it. They're not getting paid. The people who pirate the movie were never going to pay for the movie in the first place. Yeah, right. So it well, has same no with effect. video game piracy is an argument too. Yeah. Um, but I think where the differences in that also come to is like when you're pirating video games or movies or music. Um, sometimes it's also a service issue, which is a totally different point we can talk about as well. Yeah, true. But true. I think okay, so I don't really care if people react to my videos and whatnot either. It's totally fair game. I think like when I look at reactions, right? Like I look at Asmund Gold, guy has insight on everything. Okay? Yeah. Like the dude could never play uh, Grand Theft Auto online, but somehow still have um, you know decent insight to offer because he's played video games. Like he'll cover videos and he'll give insight, and I think his commentary is. I would say is relatively transformative. You know what I mean? Now, there are some issues in terms of freebooting and aping the algorithm, but I tend to give Asmund Gold, like, he's probably the gold standard. If you're going to be reacting like that, be like Sure, Asmund but we Gold. don't even know if, I th- if how Asmund reacts would actually still hold up in a court of law. Ex- exactly. Well, that's what I'm saying. You don't know we what have to go to a courtroom. Be. I think where, like, XQC draws the ire is he literally yeah, is, like, XQC, jinx, it's, where, like, he has nothing to add. It's pretty positive it's that sad, he's not yeah. doing yeah. shit. <laughs> it's just like I, I think what's wild is like when you put on a video and you leave for 10 minutes to go to the bathroom or take a call it's like well what happened to the brb screen you know what i mean like just because like you have to dude step hassan away from the needs that in the worst get food. way bro that guy well that guy walked away like from the from the jfk video for 10 and a half minutes and then he came back and he's like oh well what i missed guys and he goes oh well and he just keeps no, rolling oh, <laughs> it's like what the f- he was bro. like oh it was still going it was oh, still that's the, thing, that's the thing with the Hassan stuff. It's like sometimes he'll have like a reaction like that. And sometimes he'll do the Asmund goal thing where like when it's a political topic, he'll provide like the crazy amount of commentary. So it's like yin and yang. Like, and here, here's the, here's regard, the thing with it being the Wild West. With it being the Wild West, there's more mm-hmm. freedom and I think a lot more fun. But there is going to be bad actors yeah. that are going to take advantage of that. And that's just part of the trade off. Mm-hmm. And I'm just willing to f-ing, I'm willing to put up with the bad. Yeah. You know? Yeah, they're, and they're open. All, to, the be, yeah. most important thing is that they're open to criticism, and we can call them f-ing idiots. Yeah, and most of the time they fold if they get enough flashback, like mm-hmm. pushback. Most of the time they'll f-ing change. Most people aren't like f-ing evil running around trying to just steal everything. Yeah, yeah. But also, I don't think XQC is even an evil guy. I think no, he's just, no. You know, 
unintelligent. He probably he won't change unless there's some kind of. He is unintelligent. Well, I have to I watch his clips twice, bro, because I can't tell it's English. He needs to. Uh, I don't think he'll care though. I don't think XQC will change because he already has his 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 bag. Uh, I yeah. think it, a lot of it is based on like money, mm. right? So like, if there's pushback from Kick, then he'll probably change. But he's not going right. to change. It, 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 there's no reason for him to change. I, I think the big question uh. too is like one of the things that pushes these people to change Thank is you. like when when you've got creators who it's one thing if you react to youtube stuff where i think it can really ruin that like in laissez-faire like can have like open internet that we love so much is when these guys start fucking doing it to like movies which actually see started to do that with like the dark knight and like actual like big time studios the moment these guys start suing streamers and they win against a streamer like XQC. Who's to say that they won't try doing it to like movie review channels or like other people, right? Yeah. Because like, you know, you give somebody an inch, they take a fucking mile, right? And that's one of the scariest aspects of it too. I know plenty of movie review channel guys that are like, are like I don't even know how the fuck they do YouTube without like wanting to like rip their fucking hair out because it's such a you know yeah. annoying. Uh, it, situation it would be such a shame that all these companies are currently letting it slide, and that all changes because some youtuber decides to dmca their fucking video that got him two thousand dollars or some shit that's all i'm saying yeah. like we're gonna lose this all we're gonna fuck this all up for like two grand or three grand or whatever the, the video that yeah was we're gonna did. fuck up an entire industry I, for I us just, over there i just cannot take that risk i don't i don't want things to change it's changed enough yeah, yeah. well like yeah. the it, it's just it's just one of those things where it's like you know calling out xqc was like it was, it was, it's like, yeah, the guy is one of the most egregious people. And I think it's like mm -hmm. Caleb says, like, I don't want the internet to like change for the worse. Yeah. But we should just be allowed to call, call these people out. Like we can call these people idiots. I agree. Creators, I right? think like, the like, healthiest way is through Twitter. Yeah. I just don't agree with where my difference is, is I just, I think on Twitter, that's a great conversation to have. Cause I think this is a very relevant topic where, where there is a dialogue to figure out like the rules of engagement when it comes to reacting or whatever. But, uh. I just don't agree with Destiny's approach. That's all when he's saying to DMCA people. Okay, but you're you're making so here's the thing. There are two types of you know DMCA uh, engagement. There's strikes and claims. Now, if YouTube would institute some sort of way that every single channel can claim videos without striking them, I think that would make the conversation a lot easier. Because striking XQC because he reacts to your video will make the situation really explode. But if mm -hmm. you know XQC uploads six videos a day, if one of those six videos gets claimed by some random guy, then you know, fine. I don't think he'll actually care. So I don't think he'd care. But if you did this sniper wolf, like that's her whole fucking brand. That's how she makes all of her money. I bet her ass would take you to court. Yeah. I you love should, Sniper Wolf. But you should be able to Dude, only no claim way. the part of the video that's yours. That's what, like, Sniper Wolf will react to, let's say, 20 TikToks in a single video. So if the user of one of those TikToks claims a 20th of her video and gets a 20th of that revenue, I feel like that's not even far fetched. I don't is that think, even how that works, though? That's not even how the claimant system works. There's right? music sharing for every, you make a music video and you will get a sharing copyright claim. Yeah. Where you're sharing profits with whatever song you're parodying. And right. the fact that that only exists for big music studios but doesn't exist for the little guy is disgusting. They have the same thing for uh, geo-blocking, right? Like a lot of anime reviewer channels, they, want, they specifically sign up with MCNs that take 10 to 20% of their revenue just because the MCNs have an ability to geo-block your videos in Japan so TV Tokyo isn't going to copyright strike. <laughs> that's crazy. What? But that's a real thing. It's a loophole? I'm in. Couldn't you, couldn't you just do that yourself through the YouTube no. studio? No. YouTube studio does not give the individual the ability to geo-block, but it does give it to MCNs. That's so people will literally weird. give 20% of their revenue to an MCN Bro, just what? for a feature that okay, YouTube you has know, that you know, they're not you know giving you. know whose fault a lot of this is? It's YouTube because YouTube yes, gives like always cool comes tools. back to YouTube. <laughs> it's these fucking tools that they give to these asshole MCN so they can still stay in fucking business. It's yeah, like most of it like is in the YouTube's dark fault. ages of YouTube when you were literally not able to make money through YouTube gaming unless you joined one of those MCNs. How, like, do, you, how do you guys think like if, if some copyright law thing changes? How do you think that would affect TikTok when that's like that entire website's thing to like? 
play the whole Dude, video and then they're react. St- they're starting. They're starting de- like. Well, the way that TikTok does it, since they built their platform around it, if you like duet a reaction with people, it like helps you build that algorithmically. Also, they've got dealings with like the music studios now, where like they're they're just able to license this shit a lot better too, mm-hmm. as long as it stays primarily on their platform. Um, YouTube doesn't do that shit. YouTube, like even the shorts algorithm doesn't fucking do that. The shorts algorithm just pushes me more take crap. It doesn't push me what I actually want to do or allows me to like react to people or like, um, you know, I don't know if YouTube shorts like lets you do it or anything. Dude, I don't know I if they develop YouTube that shorts. fucking. Uh, oh, do you, do you have a, do you have a mullet? Of course. You got a mullet. Yeah. A really, really big one. A really it's, nice it's one. It's huge. It's a very maybe, fluffy mullet. Maybe the so best nice. one ever, Holy to be shit. honest. Man, yeah, sides are short. Can we see? Can you like? That. Yeah. Is it greasy like a mullet, or is it one of these clean ones? No, nah, it's, nah. it's a clean like one. A, it's a little, it's a little it's fuzzy because like I was wearing a hat. But wow, <laughs> like, look like at that thing! Holy to shit! Take her top off. Look at all the gray hairs in my head. Too. Oh, I'm really no. Old. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! No no! This is like asking an e-girl to, um, to take her top off. Is like asking. <laughs> we'll have to blur that. That might be inappropriate, girl. Sorry, I just came out too easy. Yeah. You know, see, like, see, see, aside from all this stuff, everything else has been like relatively chill on the internet. You know, it's like th- this React stuff has been like the the largest that it's blown up in like a long time. It seems like every year it comes back. Um, I don't think much is going to change out of it, but I just think see, you know, well, it's kind of like the reaction. It's like two different cultures. Like all the people that watch streamers love it, and all the people that make YouTube videos and hate it ever since Jinx, like back in the day. I don't know. I feel like there's a. Uh... There is a level of jealousy there also because it's like everyone takes pride in their work and it's like this is like the easy road to success. So I, I get that too. Like when someone will react to my video and get more views than me, it just feels so so crummy, you know? It's like, but, but I did everything. You just sat there. But, but Yeah, why, I, don't, why? I don't see. I don't care. No, no, yeah, me I, I don't give care either I don't get at it. this point. But um, like I get it. I get it. If there is a call to action, also, so this is a good example because uh, Critical reacted to my scam video, mm-hmm. um, and that helped out immensely. Like, that was huge uh, because he was literally signal boosting, like, a thing that was beyond just a, a big video. So for, for stuff like that, it makes sense. Uh, like, it, it was just nothing but helpful to me, a very unique situation. But um, if it's like a, I could see if you're if someone did a lot of research and and, you know, it isn't necessarily – um, like a cause or something that has a call to action. It's just like a really informative piece on something that goes into a deep dive and someone reacts to it. It probably is not going to have much of a trickle down to the to the original, uh, you know, creator. If they properly engage, it does boost the video. Like the best one I had was yeah. again, like it was it was critical, same as you. But he went ahead and uh, he disagreed with everything I had to say in the video. It was like a video I posted. It was pretty dead. He disagreed with everything. But guess what? When the if fans finished watching. You know, whatever channel re-uploaded his reaction, they all came to my video then, and then my video started going in the alg, and that vid got over 100k because of that. So it's That's like, crazy. as long as they engage, I don't care if it's positive, I don't care if they disagree, I don't care if they call me a f-ing idiot. If they engage, then I'm all there for because then that's actually like providing oh God, something dude. to the conversation. I think I've mm-hmm. seen that video, the Charlie reaction, not your video. <laughs> God damn it, Nux. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I'm DMCAing and I take it all that back. that one on, um, oh God. Who, who, it was, was on, on Socks, Socks for, for One. one? Mm-hmm. Yo, I saw the critical reaction. I didn't even see your video. I'm DMCAing and I take it all back, that guy. <laughs> <laughs> that piece of shit. Anyway, but like going, going to like the content. So you're saying you're working on like a fourth tape video. Is it like, when? It, when is the timeline on that? Because I just saw your most recent one mm-hmm. with like those War Room leaks that came yeah, out i saw that that was pretty wild so there's there's more so get this the war room is basically just a bunch of like rich people that it's basically a rich discord right to a degree yeah you pay like what 10 you, grand you pay 10 in? grand to get in then you pay like five to ten grand for each other course and you got to be in a certain amount dude it's so much money like people have spent over two hundred fifty thousand dollars on this course right well it's the same thing just like how us, we have it in our discords where there's just like some some fans that are like a little too into it. You know, they, they get like, mm-hmm. you know, they're a little out there. Uh, mm-hmm. There's a there's a video uploaded where one of the one of the Andrew Tate fans that are like doing the webcam thing where they're like pimping girls uh, gets into it with another guy that's pimping girls in the war room. And he, he <laughs> was just tweeting at him like, your girls are all fives, mine are all ten, like you right so the other oh guy hired God. people to go to <laughs> like comparing yeah, yeah, yeah. The another guy hired people to go to his house 
and like rough him up but uh he like wasn't home but he's got all like the cam footage of it so it's just them talking shit and like like trying to like get each other banned off twitter which one of them successfully did like all this fucking crazy shit like dude there's so much documentation from the war room of them like exposing each other and infighting that nobody watches it's all like five thousand view videos you know like so one of the things that I w would like to add to this conversation, I don't know if you know, I, I interviewed Andrew Tate. Yep, I saw um, that. And I was, a, yeah. I was a victim of his charisma. I got to experience it full frontal. You got rizzed um, by I got, Tate, bro. No, dude, <laughs> no, it, it, dude, he, put, he so, basically put you on cam and everything, bro. I felt bad about it. The, the, uh, so, All right, so, so, Caleb, he was two, two inches away from getting traffic. Dicot's going to so, call you up to get, get it on his case. Uh, so Andrew Tate and Tristan, his brother, right? They're, like, they are... I mean, undoubtedly, they have charisma. They have, they have like a, a they've got riz. Incredibly okay. entertaining people, yeah. like incredibly Very charismatic. Yes, exactly. There are people in that group who are just as bad. That uh, you mentioned them in your video, Vlad Obu. Mm -hmm. I f cannot stand that guy. You know about? I him? cannot. Oh, I made a video about him like six months ago. Oh, I had no idea. I thought I was like the first he, one talking about him. Dude, have you have you followed his Twitter? No, I just his Instagram. Dude, dude, I, I you guys can move on. Let me let me follow, follow find his Twitter really quick. I do not remember exactly. I'll, what I'll one carry of his out about says. Vlad Obu while you look this up. Okay. So Vlad cool. Obu is a guy that would go ahead and he runs Andrew Tate's uh, one of the webcam courses in the war room, and uh, he hosts an event that that was an OnlyFans like how to pimp girls event in Romania that Sneeko that Sneeko took money to show up at and speak at. So that's weird, right? It's basically Sneeko took sex trafficking money to some degree, probably unknowingly, but still funny. And then uh, oh, God. He, he's being investigated by Dicot in charge for human trafficking as well. In in front of a Wait, bunch- Sneeko? No, no, no. Vlad Obu. Okay, okay. Vlad, but yeah, but okay. Sneeko okay. spoke at Vlad's event on trafficking, basically, which is funny to me. But uh, as a as a proud Muslim, by yeah, way, as a too. proud Muslim, <laughs> by, yeah, for sure. Yes. <laughs> but uh, Vlad went ahead and in front of a bunch of people, there's witnesses. Like this guy's uh, was trying to make one of his girls get a third tattoo of his face on them, and she was refusing. So he just beat her in front of everybody and made her get it. Like this is how insane it is. Like this is not just like I feel like that's not real. There's no way that's real, dude. Right? It's it's. The charges are there, and it's there's apparently a bunch of witnesses, according to the the indictment. Like this shit is not like just a bunch of like, oh well, you know, is that really trafficking? It's like, dude, no, there's like some seriously f up shit going on here. And uh, he he pretends to be named uh, Joe Lampton, mm -hmm. and his at is Mister Lottahoes as well. By the way, Mister Lot, I did not know he had a Twitter. <laughs> Mister Lottahoes, and uh, dude, I'm trying to find the tweet. I think it's like a month old or something. June. Oh, rich oh, genius, dude. rich gang. Oh my god, check this out. He he tweets th these. He tweets like copy pastas of himself. He says, "I ejaculated inside of this high school young lady, but decided to not pursue a romantic relationship oh afterward God. because I, I made am married." Fun of this re re sorry, the special. Yeah, ed he child. tweeted yeah, that. Same. Yes, and there's more. He uh, uh, he's always talking about ejaculating inside of of hoes. Um, oh. Wait. Why does he yes, use exactly. the word ejaculating? That's fucking this is the most disgusting way to say that. He said, I just reached 28,000 followers on Twitter, and as a reward, I ejaculated again in this young lady's warm pussy. <laughs> <laughs> At least it wasn't a cold pussy. At least she was alive. Like, it wasn't a dead uh, body or something. Oh, there we go. Glass right. half full. Dude, you're, you're, you're inspiring video. me to make a tape video this week, bro. Oh. I want to go down this rabbit hole, bro. I like, really do. Check, the, check this out. What? Look at this one. Okay. Like just okay. that's a that's a that's a little okay. a little screenshot I clipped. Where can I see this? Oh, hold on, I want to I want to share this. I'll, I'll I'll narrate. It's this. in the chat. There's a chat. Oh yeah, I'm opening. Yeah, it chat right bottom now. right. There's a little chat oh, button. You can shit. click it and you can see it. Gazo. Oh my god. What Dude, how about fuck, that bro? tweet? <laughs> Dude, okay, get ready for this one. This is this is. <laughs> I mean, how just, oh dumb do you have to be? To tweet that. Ejaculated inside warm pussy. <laughs> her her <laughs> pants are fucking wet too. If you look in her ass crack. Oh my! It's literally God. wet dude, pants. Just, dude, just look at how decrepit this fucking area is. Dude, it's just you can smell this shitty room. Oh my God! What's amazing is what just the how they all just incriminate themselves over and over and over. Like Andrew Tate was caught talking on the on the jail phones, thinking Dicot wouldn't listen in yeah. and record those transcripts.
Like these guys just incriminate themselves over and over. It's insane. Mr. Lottahoes. You still have people that defend them. What else you got on Mr. Lottahoes? Oh, I mean, you can just look at his Twitter. Oh, I it's, did it's it, Mr. Lottahoes, bro. That's He's got a lot of hoes, dude. Second. Nobody tells me, bro. <laughs> Joe Lampton, man. Joe Lampton. He's the he's a pimp. He's a he's a true pimp. He's a real G. What, so so spell his real name actually. Vlad Obu. V L A D. V L A D. Obu. O B U. O B U. And his 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 thing on uh, Twitter is Joe Lampton. Romanian. I, I love how this first thing it's his Instagram. Romanian police target alleged associate of tapes. Jesus Christ, this man's SEO is. Bro. Yeah, Vlad, he me. hasn't tweeted in a while. Well, he how about he was his woman that they were trafficking, Wait. they found them all in the same county as Andrew Tate. They're all in the same war room. Like when it says uh, human trafficking in the continued form, we're going to have to wait and see like what the prosecution says at the trial, but there's very good chance that means that they were trading women between each other. Oh, if they for sure were. Like it's dude, this is such like like Andrew Tate's big defense is he's like one of the girls is such an idiot. She says she was trafficked 7 times. It's like Dude, if there's she seven of you was. in your criminal organization, then she totally could have been. Uh, check out the the screenshot I just sent in the chat this time. This is my tweet making fun of. That's when I made the video. I, I tweeted that. Uh, my God, this man Caleb had the balls to make fun of a lot of hoes like that. Oh, I, I saw this. <laughs> I tagged him. I love look, this look, one. In, in the replies, it's all Mr. <laughs> lot of hoes. Did you see this? Holy f dude, look, Mr. Lot of hoes. It's all people tagging Mr. Lot of hoes. <laughs> Dude, I kind of, I kind of want to make the same post, and then I just want to be like, just join the war room, boys. Oh my god! <laughs> I have fornicated with two hundred and eighty-four women, two hundred and eighty-three in the last eight months. In the last eight months, twenty-six. Dude, that's crazy. Dude, this, this is the, this is the wildest part about their situation. Because here's the thing: even if like, so, so you bring facts, right? And I'm so inspired to make a tape video this week because I'm looking into this shit right now, and it's insane. But no matter how much proof you bring, the, the these guys have already started the the Matrix narrative and all this bullshit. You're just a ma you're just Agent Smith, bro. Like you're just coming up with these like it's dichot kind of crazy is just how fake, bulletproof bro. of a defense it became. Like just thinking about it, that like you can never pierce him, pierce his armor because. His armor is just, oh, you're attacking me? You must be part of the Matrix. And his people will just eat it in, up. In my opinion, like, yeah, he's always going to have people that are on his side. In my opinion, the narrative is changing. Like, there's so many comments across the three videos I made on him of people being like, I cannot, like, look at this. This looks rough. You know, like, I do think, like, oh, yeah. Of the adults there, they're going to look at it and it, it becomes like, it, it becomes insurmountable. The amount, of, like the amount of evidence, is insane. Yeah, it, it is. It's fucked up because, like, if you don't really do any research, um, you know, it, it it appears as though, like, if you're just a, if let's say you're someone who doesn't spend a lot of time on the internet, who's never seen your videos, or has, doesn't really do a lot of research, you see, okay, he's a misogynist from the mainstream media, right? Okay, all right, you know, is he actually who the f knows the the the? There's no real things that they're saying on the mainstream media they're not giving any evidence they're not actually going down the rabbit hole they're not talking about the the fucking you know ring of ne'er do wells yeah. that surrounds andrew tate like fucking vlad obu or or tucker, uh, tucker so, said that oh but you aren't even charged for physical violence yeah. or like or, or anything. exactly like, yeah the if you just saw that interview it'd be like oh okay so he's just a fucking he's just like this right-wing guy who who just kind of says it how it is and he's making liberals cry yeah. You know, and he's funny and he's he's got like he's charismatic, he's entertaining. Um, but then you look into it and it's like, oh my god, he's friends with Vlad Obu. <laughs> That's terrible. Yeah, that dude's going That's to jail really for bad. a long, long time. I fucking hope so. I hope so. Yeah. I have no love in my heart. You, you want to hear the Obu. most thing with Andrew Tate, and, and I want to talk about this sure. in my next vid too, is Andrew Tate while in prison made a phone by the way tristan never made any phone calls in prison so it makes me think tristan is much the much smarter one of the tate brothers but andrew tate was making phone calls in prison telling luke his cousin that he needs to go to the girls and get them to take back that they are going to uh be on the stand against tate during the trial like they they need he's like telling them like they need to go to the police and say that they were lied like they lied about it you know, like this guy's a fuck. This is all documented. Dude. This is all in fucking transcripts. This is all real shit. Yeah. From the Romanian that's FBI. Why. But that's the thing. They'll say the Romanian FBI just is they're like just they're working corrupt, with the right? Matrix, so bro. that 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 see, this is this is what you're going up against, right? Because I've had the same. So when I made my entertainment video and I mentioned Dicot, you know, the first thing that I got sent to me is like 
because you remember that clip where Andrew talked about like, oh, I moved to Romania because it's a corrupt country. It was like, well, why can't you say Dicot isn't corrupt now? Why do you believe everything you say? I'm like, dumbass. Yes, Romania is a corrupt fucking country, but day in and day out when you tell them, yeah, I can take advantage yeah. of your country. That's the one time they're going to say, all right, mother we're going to do everything by the book. Mexico is one of the most corrupt countries in the world. But if the cartel keeps saying, yeah, dude, Mexico is so compromised, we can do whatever we want. That's the one time the Mexican government will actually do something to prove. Legit. I mean, I, I think where he, he got f- with Dicot too is uh, one of the women he trafficked was American. And then when they raided their house because of her and she's going to be one of the women against them. Like, dude, well, now now you got the American embassy involved, so of course you're going to be investigated. The one that he claims to say was there because they left their significant other and partied dude, with them. Dude, yeah. he's that, like, that she, she went on yeah. vacation after she was trafficked, therefore she could have never been trafficked. What, what kind of defense is that? What kind of, here's her at the beach. She went to the beach after she was trafficked. Clearly someone who was trafficked would never go to the beach again. That's not a fucking if defense. I, was I wouldn't go to the beach, so... Valid. Well, because they make it sound like they're, they're trying to put it into their heads like, well, these, it's not like they're f-ing filming Hostel 4 or something, right? Like, they're chained in the basement. No, they... they these women smiled once on, like, on Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> she smiled once they're, on Instagram. She's lying. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but, see, but see, this is the kind of, like, shit that you're going up against, right? Like, there's people... Like, the, the, the way that I've seen anybody... And this is the thing, okay? Every... And this is just... I, I don't care if this is a blanket generalization. Every single person I've ever seen who's followed Tate, like, and, and, and like, followed him to no ends is an unsuccessful loser. And oh, I've seen this yeah. with a 100% sample size in my life. No, okay? dude. You're just looking in the wrong spots. You're not looking the, in the war room, dude. The people that Wait, I know, you see my dropshipping company Muda. Discords, dude. I mean, Adrian that's what, dude. That's what I'm up. saying. Every single person in my life, all right, and this is a hundred percent sample size of the people that I know who follow Tate, <laughs> jump into his Discord, start these dropshipping businesses. They have a net worth of negative six hundred dollars to their <laughs> name. Okay? All right. In fact, even lesser than that. And then, and then, and then, when I'm like sitting across them and I'm telling them, maybe you just shouldn't follow this guy. Oh, what do you know? And then conversely, I'm also like, okay, what do I know? I don't know. I just, I guess you tell me that I've got my shit together. So I figured Think you about might want to follow you're, me instead you're of You're in a guy. financially bad spot. You've been following a guy's <laughs> advice to get out of this financially bad spot. And it's only made you spend more money and you've earned none of the money back. And then, and then you're going to look at Muda who actually has like a fucking job and a stable life. And you're going to go, yeah, that guy doesn't have it. <laughs> that guy doesn't have it together. I'm not listening to that. It's dude. like, like, and and and, I, and I'm just sitting there. I'm like, listen, I'm saying these things because I care about you as a person, not that. Like, if this was some random like idiot on the street, like Vlad Obu, I'd be like, all right, whatever. I hope you go to jail. <laughs> like, who gets a shit? <laughs> but like, I know you in my personal life. I don't want you to go down that f- rabbit hole, and I'm just telling you to look in the f- mirror, right? Like, just can, can, stop. Can... Um, I think f- for a lot of these guys, it's like, and every single person that I've met is like. They they fall like they have such a shitty like self uh, worth right like they have such shitty self confidence right like I, like I literally talked to a homie like close friend he's like he's 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 shorter right like he's like five six or some shit and he's already jumped into like oh I'm not tall enough for I'm like dude that is such a fucking cope way to put it okay the shortest guy I know is Charlie who is coincidentally the most one of the most attractive dudes that I know and not to so mention you can successful. Make things- confident yeah. <laughs> well-liked respected the most successful yeah. person that i know i don't think I'm yeah but, more successful than charlie. yeah I'm like, I'm i like, almost dude, got seduced yeah, like, by charlie last time i saw him dude like yeah the dude's seductive dude the man is so successful i will watch his reactions to willie max videos before even watching willie max <laughs> <Thank> god <laughs> classic <laughs> and not even on his main no, channel just, no, on, just like, a re-upload fan stream channel stream clip no. re-uploads the other, the other thing, it's like, okay, fine. If you just took it down to our sample size right here, it's like, okay. Everything that, like, I've ever heard, like, these red pill guys say, I've heard, like, Caleb say in a much more, like, like positive way. It's like, what is it? Like, workout? Okay, yeah. That's a normal thing to do. Okay, yeah, sure. That's a great way to put it. Do I really need the red piller? Do I really need to pay him, like, monthly on a Discord to hear that? No. Like, what the f- Yeah, that, that, <laughs> that is probably, like, one of the most triggering things when it comes to any red pill stuff is they'll be like, but they're actually trying to help young men by telling them to work out and go make money and be rich. It's like, that's not, not even it. advice. Like, 
Everyone knows you should do that. Everybody knows you should work out and try and make money. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, this, this isn't like breaking the fucking. If I like, say that, I'm a good role really model. Too. All I gotta tell people is go be yeah. rich. Like, hey, go get money. It's, and it's I'm like, a fucking good guy. It's like the it's Perky. like the YouTubers that Perky. like grandstanding and they say, contrary to public opinion, I know I'm gonna get in trouble for this, but I think racism is bad. Yeah. You know, it's like they're gonna try Dude, the most I love basic, that, man. The most basic possible piece of advice, but they say it and frame it in a way that. It's what the Matrix doesn't want you to hear. Yeah, dude. You I mean, just, like, I literally, like, this. in, like, every single video, it's like, I'm like, guys, that I shouldn't have to say this, but, like, Nazis are bad, you know? Right. Like, you, woo. you think people would <laughs> know that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, shit, there, there you go. That's some basic There is something advice. interesting about the fact that Andrew Tate and, like, his battle against the Matrix has just made his own f***ing Matrix for people to f***ing live in. And ignore like all yeah. reality. Like there's some like there's yeah. like somebody way smarter than me could probably break that down and make like a, a really good video. Well, if you think about it, it's like it's it's basically the plot to the matrix, right? Like you know when they you know one of the theories is when you wake up from the matrix into like You're the naked. other world? That's just a that's another that's matrix takeaway. that they made. Yeah. It's <laughs> no, but it's just a, well, yeah, it's just another matrix they made for the people who are too woke in the matrix. It's just another layer to separate them. That's it. The, my favorite thing is I'm watching the Candace Owens interview and she's like, gosh, <laughs> she says at one point, she's like, I used to think like porn was healthy because I was learning in school that like a moderate amount of porn for a per individual could be healthy or whatever. And she's like, Well, I learned that was a lie because the porn industry has a lot of trafficking in it. And Andrew Tate goes, yeah, but not, but not what I did. And she goes, "No, not what you did." I'm like, I'm like what? Like you, oh you got him, Candace. And then he's like, he's like, "Yeah, I would never partake in porn, dude." Th- do you know what? This guy took part. That this guy actually shot porn with his models recently. Like it's his recent tattoo on him. He'd wear like those plastic masks, and he'd f- his models like that. It's happened like this past year, bro. It's like him with the bro, long hair of him out of we jail. Were be a bro, that, that, was, that was before the Muslim arc. No, it wasn't. Muslim it's arc. during the Muslim <laughs> arc. It's Wait, during really? the Muslim what? arc, bro. You got a link, bro? I send you it. Yeah, I'm saying, I, hey, I saw the dick pics. It, Leafy's got a bigger dick. That's all I'm saying on this issue. Wait, you seen Andrew Tate's dick? Oh, yeah, I got his dick. Dude, yeah. this is one of those moments and it's where it's like, it's scared into the abyss. This is how commentary YouTubers the, do research. I got everything. I got your nudes. I got your receipts. Bro, my, I He's saw done. a video of someone trying to expose someone else in like the anime community, and it's like, and I know you're whatever because I found your Pornhub account. Let's see. I found your cock. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, it's like this, this is this is one of the things. Like, so you just how do you ever expect at some point to be interviewing Tate? Do you, do you think that Tate's watched any of your shit? Yes, I th- I genuinely think one of his Twitter videos is him responding to me. He's like. There's a video going around of somebody showing all these old videos of me admitting to information. He's like, that guy's a loser. Got him. <laughs> yeah, what a, what a, what a fucking way to debunk you. <laughs> so I, I think 100% he has. I don't think my most recent one, but like my after my other two, and they started to get like posted on like uh, like Reddit and everywhere, and they got over 100K. Yeah, I think he absolutely responded to them. Dude, I, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm so like, well, when is this? Uh, when is the investigation? The investigation is still ongoing, obviously. The investigation is completed. They're just awaiting trial. So there's two. Okay, there's two things, right? He's he's got two cases going against him. One probably isn't going to be started till next year because they split the current case to want to investigate more, and that has to do with trafficking minors. All right. So that one's been split and probably won't happen till next year. And then he's got the current case, which the trial is supposed to start in August. But it's really common in Romania for, uh, you know, the defense to say stuff or, or to get pushed back up to five months. So this could go on for a long time before it actually starts. Well, I mean, look, at the end of, like at the end of the day, it's like I the way that he's talked about it, I and I know I was one of those people where I'm like, I'll wait until like the courts decide. But I, on a personal level, believe that he's 1,000% guilty. I don't, on a dude, personal hold, level, I think he's guilty. It, it annoys me, though, when people say shit like, uh, like one of them was like, well, if he was guilty, he'd be thrown in prison already. It's like, dude, do we know how slow the justice system moves? Yeah. Like, didn't the guy that, that did the Pittsburgh synagogue shooting just get sentenced? He just got sentenced, like, this month. Wow. You know? So it's like, we're sitting here pretending like, like, the fuck.
like all these cases that are like shut and closed like the guy fucking did it because these people uh, have like, like a weird really idea fast. they think they it's don't. like they think it's like hollywood where like the fbi operates on like a two-hour time scale I'm like yeah, they, think, they, they think this shit operates yeah. like it's a uh, big daddy like he goes to court and the and it happens all in one eve afternoon. No, it, exactly. And and the thing about like and a lot of these cases and like especially situations like his because it involves so many countries, it also makes it exponentially slow, right? Because you've got the Romanians, you've got the Americans. I mean, God knows what other countries these women have come from. You've got the he, he just hired Trump's former lawyer. lawyer. Oh, How yeah, funny that, is that? <laughs> that's it's like great. there's just something about that that I'm just like eh, I don't, she's probably a great lawyer, but it's just funny. He Bro. it's one of the it's one of those things where it's like I think trying to convince people now of like, because, but the thing about it is like Andrew Tate's kind of like fallen off. I wouldn't say fallen off, but like there's a lot more insane motherfuckers out compared to him now. I you feel know, like, he, like he's opened the doors for like yeah. an yeah. entire generation of way it's, worse. It's like it's way Vlad less. Obu's. Uh, Vlad Obu. Um, Vlad Obu. There's this guy, that, Zerka, I, that I've seen. I got to watch your vid. I'm pumped you actually knew who he was. Zerka? That's actually really cool. So, so Vlad Obu, right? We, I saw the viral tweet, Mr. Lotta Hose. I saw him talking about how he ejaculates into warm pussy and stuff. And I was like, that's hilarious. Did some like research. Real, He's a freak. Real. Yeah. And, mm. and like you had way more information on him in your video. I, it, I make my videos are ass, but um, the. No, they're fun. They're, oh, well, thank you. They're all good. <laughs> I, I, I wanted you to say that. Yeah, um, but uh, no, the what was I gonna say? Vlad Obu, warm pussy, warm, no, warm pussy. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, shit. warm pussy, I just started thinking Vlad about Obu. Pussy. You're talking about Zerka, Andrew oh, Tate's Zerka. That's it. dude. Zerka, have you guys seen that guy? Yeah, dude, oh, yeah. I, I have I've documented so much Zerka. The only reason I won't make like a whole video on him is because I just don't think he's popular enough yet. But that guy is, he is so he's a flat earther. I'm like, I'll watch he, him he talk. He's a straight up flat earther. You know who else is? Sneeko oh. and Muda. Sneeko's being convinced, he's open to the idea. He's not quite <laughs> dude, sure. That's I, so okay, you know how we okay, stupid. on our newest episode of my favorite, <laughs> my favorite Aiden Ross clip of the week. Okay, because we need to have one a week. All right, here. So <laughs> okay. Okay. You go to 32 minutes in this video. 32 minutes, baby. Nah, bro. I, like ready. I said, I think this has all been a really good chat. I'm oh, really good. You gotta go? I see, man. No, I don't. But you're you're being mean to me. I'm not being mean. I'm I'm just giving you the harsh hey, reality. It's you're not you're not you're not listening to me. Okay, talk about Antarctica. Yes, Antarctica. What about Antarctica? It's a place. If you don't if you don't think that in Antarctica that never mind oh say it say it say how it is, how it is man. nobody thinks you're dumb <laughs> fucking send it promise I promise i'm not gonna be mean i'll be more more forthcoming with my uh, engagement video. all right so is the is the piece of ice right because we're spinning in a way like this right like that like that uh, okay okay so have you ever watched the world hold on have you ever watched world, the the game of thrones nope <laughs> Never watched it. Even once. I watched there like are this. these, there are these things called the ice walkers. <laughs> yes. There's a big ice wall. Oh my god. I truly believe. Or white walkers. Thank you, white walkers. <laughs> I truly believe that on the other side of the wall, there is some type of being. Or beings. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it gets better. What like, wall? What wall? Arca. <laughs> and Tartar is not a wall. It's like a like a plaque. <laughs> it's not like, a wall. What? No. What, what? Which fucking wall? Of course like, the it wall Maybe I got it confused with another place. Let Wait, do you think do you think that there's a wall to get into Tartar? Look it up. Look it up. Oh, you're right. There's a plaque. <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> yeah. I've never even heard that. I've never even heard that conspiracy. Also, it's Ant Antarctica. <laughs> not but, Antarctica. Uh, I, I I, th I think I love They're both. They're so Holy dumb, shit, that was so how did they? How did he say it's like a plaque? And then Aiden goes, "You're right, it is like a plaque." I don't even know what that means, dude. That that I don't think that, he does uh, either. I think he's just no easily knows. swayed. No one knows, dude. That was, I, I that, don't. That was, wow. Oh my god, I Zerka though. Back to Zerka. That like whenever I see for, first off, whenever I see people, because I would consider myself to do a lot of research on conspiracies and things like that and i believe a lot of stuff like I, for instance i believe the cia killed jfk i believe mm -hmm. so too yeah right so and there's a lot of stuff that that just kind of trickles down but beneath that 
I don't think the government is a, like an inalien, inalienable evil force, but I believe that there's a lot of stuff that's hidden and done that like, you know, people wouldn't be, be cool with. You believe in a deep state. I believe in that too. Yeah, I believe in a deep state. I believe in a lot of uh, pretty cool little conspiracies. I don't really believe in aliens, that kind of shit. I do, but like, you know, more so like, please. Uh, it's like whenever I see someone who is also uh, claims to be based in red pilled, start to just every time they feel that like, oh, p- the people think that this is true. That means it's not it must true. not be true. And I'm the Messiah. It's, it's such an ins- – it has, there has to be a name for it. Um, I mean, I guess the CIA did comp- create the term conspiracy to, uh, to, to uh, devalue yeah, people who – yeah, like it's main character syndrome? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like Sneeko is uh, – he used to make good videos, and now he makes – he believes the earth – he's open to the idea that the earth is flat. Like – what who who what respectable intelligent dude it's not it's not just it's that crazy. though like with when it comes to when it comes to their conspiracy specifically it's not just a conspiracy it is always tied back to the jews yeah like every single one it's not the cia did it's that the cia is owned by israel and israel yes, killed the it's jews. owned by israel like it's always tied back yeah. to the jews it's it's insane zerka is like um I saw him just coming on, just spreading like wildfire on TikTok recently. And I'm like, this is, but it's all people bashing him and making fun of him. It's, it's unbelievable. <laughs> it's truly unbe- unbelievable. He has to be trolling. Like, I, I, I don't even. I think he's manic. You think he's just like, an, you think he's, I think he's, he needs help. I think he's manic. Okay. Yeah. Well, well, yeah. I mean, I don't know how you help somebody that's, that's manic necessarily, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't yeah. think he's right. Yeah. Yeah. He seems, uh, he seems uh, just detached from reality and he his voice is is just hilarious he's like a <laughs> i don't know it's just it's such a he's just, he's he is he like really like, like charismatic and kind of charming but he just says the most like offensive shit possible but you can never tell if he means it or not he's like a 30 well, year like, old man it's crazy it's, he wants to be like advertising this kind of stuff too and and to be fair like it works for him and let's be real when this is all he's going to have in terms of this is the route of popularity he's picked so he's got to be outlandish He's got to pretend to be a nut job. He's got to pretend to be a psycho. And going back to the the Jews point, I'm glad that you mentioned it too, because a lot of people hate it when you talk to these guys and try to obfuscate it. Like they're trying to make it sound like you're the racist or anti-Semite for mentioning this shit. And I'm like, well, what the fuck do you mean by you people? Like every time you jump into it, they always lead a conspiracy theory down that route because it's so easy to like pick a group of people, like pick a special group of people and just turn them into a lightning rod. Oh, you thank know? you, Muda. You shouldn't think. But, but it's like, but it, it, well, no. But it's like, when you look at these, when you look at a lot of these conspiracy theories, these talking points, it's not even just like, they'll, they'll take like a, they'll take like, I would say a pretty apolitical conspiracy theory and find a way to jam conflict into it or something because it just ends up building, uh, you know, something for them. And I, th- I think the best word for what Caleb, you were putting, like, what do you call these people? Is just like, these are just disinformation agents, right? When we talk about misinformation, when we talk about this kind of shit, it's these people, right? Like they obfuscate, they they prevent any form of progress and they're talking about anything and they just build conflict, you know? That's pretty much their their bread and butter. Also, Zerka sounds like Tony Robbins with a TBI. But uh <laughs> it's 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 really annoying to listen to him speak and uh all these people, I agree, they're they're misinformation agents. Uh it's pretty annoying. Pretty annoying. I would like agent, to be one. agent is too too credible of a word. They're just like I don't know. I, it gives them too much credit. Yeah. yeah. They're just like, dude, they just somehow got popular. Just doing like stupid, yeah. hitting themselves in the face. Oh, no, I'm not saying that they're paid by the fucking big blue no, state I, government. Just, they're fucking idiots. I'm yeah. just like, I, I don't know how they've done it. It's like the blind leading the blind out there. And they've somehow like all congregated on what but is that, fucking but rumble. That's, that's what it is, though. It's like. It literally, like, if you look at the follower base for these people, there's a reason why it's always like profile pictures that don't show their faces. Because if you saw any faces involved, you'd be these are the same people that be getting bullied. Okay? You're saying like they're fans, you mean? Yeah, they're fa- exa- dude. They're all listen. If you saw what their fans actually look like in real life, neon, they're the ones getting bullied. They look like that neon, neon kid, bro. That neon <laughs> kid was hilariously neon, like, yeah, dude. It was okay. I'll be real. That I wanted to get a racial like transplant at that moment okay i wanted to like fucking switch races <laughs> oh, that was a bad representation that... of your people that guy dude is, absolutely is so did you see what he apparently he paid like a couple black guys to beat their shit out of him or something <laughs> it's like a know. fucking also park. yeah uh, he, he ended up getting up yeah. andrew tate's like andrew tate's like 
I will fly you to Romania and teach you how to be a top G. It's like... It was so hilarious, like, coming across this guy for the first time, because I believe, and feel free to correct me on this, but he, he had, like, a commentary channel a while ago where he faked his, like, death. <laughs> that was him? What? Yeah. That was him? Yeah. I didn't, I didn't make the connection that that was Hold the on. same dude. Let me, let me find it. I, I This is what I love about, like, my... In my ex profile, people will just like put all of this evidence into it. This somebody somebody cares if you show this. He's gone. Oh, he does oh, look oh, like he's like God. six years old. How old he's is gone. <laughs> Uh, dude. And he's gone guy? he gets more views on dying <laughs> and then less views on coming back to life <laughs> <laughs> they thought he was dead yeah. how did they accept him to come back he's Indian Jesus holy yes. shit <laughs> <That's him. laughs> look at that that's so funny I, 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 he's he's a funny yeah. little guy I, I, it's him and Zerka like I have an, an innate response, like of just anger and frustration whenever I see these people, and it makes me want to just bully them or, you know, try to not, not really disprove what they're saying necessarily, but it makes me not like them and it makes me want to talk shit about them. But at the same time, it's such a just a fing spectacle, and like there's no chance that you can ever convince them otherwise. So it's best to just watch and laugh, I think. I think that's the best way to do it. I don't think I get. I get like mad or frustrated with them with Andrew Tate a little bit. Cause it's just so much misinformation right? right. that he's like obfuscating this case that pisses True. me off a little bit. But mm -hmm. uh, when I don't get mad, cause I love talking about crazy people. Like if all the crazy people, this is when everyone like, dude, the less ba people we ban the better. Cause I True. love crazy people. I love True. talking about them. I think they're mo the most interesting stories, especially when they get popular. Cause then it's like, how did he garner this audience? Like, I find that all very fascinating. I, listen, I, I believe, listen, this is gonna, this might sound not too positive for YouTube and like the people watching. I love bullying. Okay. I think Same. bullying is amazing. I think it's probably one of the greatest adventure inventions of the 21 to 21st century because like Charles Darwin once said, okay, like you got to root shit out. <laughs> this is how you root. This is how you root bad social behaviors out. Because mm -hmm. let me tell you, people like Sne if Sneeko acted like this in the in the in the playground back in back in the high school or like middle school. High school we didn't have playgrounds unless you were in the different wing. But uh, if if Sneeko showed up into the playground acting that way, he'd get bullied. Like he would just straight up, up get roasted relentlessly by his peers. Well, that's then, what drives me crazy about like the banning though, because the instant you ban them, then they could go play victim, and then it's like, well. Now this is like a yeah. whole thing. So instead of just socially like goofing on the guy, now mm -hmm. it's like, well, now we're impeding See, on his ability to make money. Aside and from, it's like that, all aside fucking from banning thing. him, he can play the victim. When you ban him, you just radicalize him further. You're putting him in a box with all the other people that were mm -hmm. too dangerous for the mainstream platform so that they can inbreed and they can start spawning all this flat what? earth anti-semitism stuff a lot of inbreeding in the community look look, look you know it's what like alabama a, i'm so Rumble. glad you yes, said sir. this because it's the perfect example of like the elementary school system so when i was in elementary school back in well the day, what was going on in your I, elementary school bro it was insane now that now that you guys are putting it it almost sounds like a fucking weird concentration <laughs> camp so like we had two recesses right you go out for like 15 minutes and shit so they segregated the kids by like grade, right? So grade one kids play here, two, three, four, five, and six. Yeah. And then if your kid was erratic or weird, because back in the day they didn't fucking have too many like identifiers for mental issues, they would put them in a fenced off pen. No. No, they no. would. No. I got put in the pen, no. man. Yeah. No. They put them in the I got pen. put in the pen. That's why. My, that's why my mom pulled me out of public school. This is why he's got a mullet. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. That's why I got a like, mullet, dude. <laughs> But Shit. see, this is the thing. It's like, so so let's say you make a kid like Neon, right? Instead of letting Neon get pushed around with the other sixth graders, you put him in the pen with the other weirdos. So now all the weirdos congregate each other and they... They start they, 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 Yeah, it's like, it's like bacteria. It's like they... And, you know, the strongest survive. Like, they become True. super idiots or some shit. <laughs> and they, they don't <laughs> learn. The thing I've they ever don't, heard. They don't, they don't like learn. mutation pen. Yeah, they what don't. The dude, it's literally, they're mutating into wilder character. Instead of socially, like, fixing their issues with I, the I rest of the I kids. picture the pen to, to be like, oh, a four by four white picket fence where no one could even sit down. Dude, it was there. literally, it was a chain link fence. Like, they were behind Jesus the chain Christ, link movie. fence. So what are they like doing they in just, Canada? Dude, I guess something... You wonder how, what happened to XQC. <laughs> you, you wonder how he turned out the way he did. My God. That is awesome. Dude, dude no, I'm, it's I'm not just... awesome. 
imagine, <laughs> nothing about that's awesome. Imagine <laughs> being, imagine Neon being your son now. Okay, go back, go back to the chain link fence. Go, yeah, imagine like you like you, you ask, oh, what's your son up to now? I don't have a son. He passed. I don't know. He went to elementary school. <laughs> he died and he came out three weird. years ago. He died well, three like, years ago. Listen, if, my, if my kid, if my kid faked getting beat up by other people for social media clout, that's the fire station right there. Like he's getting dropped off. I'm driving right out of there, and I'm never looking back. Like at that point, I think it's okay to abandon your child. Like if your kid turns out like that, abandoning it is okay. You know, like it's. That like clearly there is a disconnect, and honestly, it's not even the kid's fault. I'll never say it's the kid's fault. It's the parent's fault for being that f-ing stupid. Oh, no, I, I might, I might blame the kid a little bit. I mean, you're so bad, you get fenced <laughs> off at recess. I mean, what yeah, that's f- bad, dude. That's, that's low. like it's got to be a little bit of the kid's fault. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, like, that's such dude. a crazy <laughs> statement. Like, it's not dude. even you're held in for detention. It's like, no, you just cannot. You just cannot. You just cannot be with the other kids. I got like, fenced off. No, I remember like, the I got fenced off. We, we don't want the cancer to spread. What is the story of you getting fenced off? Like, what does that one look like? So, uh, so I was a little sneako when I was a kid. Uh, this is when I was in first grade. Man hated Jews. Um, no, I didn't hate Jews. Oh. Uh, no, at just that retarded. point in my life. No, uh, my my dad. So my dad was like very. Uh, I don't know. He hated public school. He didn't. He th- like. I don't know. Not for any specific reason. He just thought it was weird that everyone had to like follow each other in lines and stuff. And he just thought that mm-hmm. we could learn better uh, uh, at home because my mom is, has like a teaching degree. So, uh, so he was like already kind of on the way out, and he he sort of indoctrinated me a little bit into into thinking that I was like aware of a system when I went to elementary school as a child. So I was like, oh, I'm in this weird thing that I don't feel like I belong in, and I don't listen. Like I'm not doing. Uh, I don't fit in. I can't concentrate. I get I get in trouble every day. Uh, and the the thing that got me on the in the box the pin was uh, I remember going to class and I was following this line of kids. And then I just decided to go into a different class. I just like I'm gonna go. <laughs> I determined that I had free will in that moment, and I I went to a different class that I was not supposed to be in. I sat in the class, and then uh, I think my teacher from the class I was supposed to be in came in that one and was like looking for me. Uh, and uh, I got in trouble. I got reprimanded. I got a um, uh, one of those stars or whatever, and I went had to go to. And- they, they give you a star <laughs> when you do something bad. <laughs> a red oh star. Kind of backwards Whoa. ass. A red, star, yeah, I got a, red star. a red card. A red card. It wasn't a star. It was a card. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Man, it was a place in the forties that did the same shit. But goddamn. Yeah. What the fuck? It was weird. My mom was like, "That sounds a little strange." <laughs> Let's. Uh, and this is also back ass. And back ass words, Virginia too. Like the school is not good. So Bro's back ass words. Yeah. But a, what a weird thing to like throw you in the pen for or whatever. That is that it just the tension or what? Is it where it's like this kid is just weird? Uh, like it, all you I did was know. all you did was not stay in line, which seems right. like a normal thing for a kid to do. And it's like pet him, pet him off. Don't let him. Yeah. Don't let him hear anyone. <laughs> Lock else. him up. Lock Put him up. Put a wall between him and the rest of the kids. Stick him in there with Peter. Peter was, uh, he always got in trouble. He was a criminal. He was a little criminal. Did you, did you ever follow up and keep up with these people? Yeah, where's Peter like, now? Uh, Miss Horton was my teacher, and she was hot. So I'd like to follow up. Hey, hell yeah. But hell yeah. Uh, I don't know, though. No, I, I didn't follow up. I also moved. <laughs> oh, no. God, no, dude. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> just want to see what she's up to. Sure, sure. Um, did you uh did you ever have like a did you ever have a pen in your school I'm, I refuse dude to i don't even know if i should tell pen. these stories i was kind of a menace in school really we had no, uh I mean, in, no in school we had a teacher that was just, it was an art te- like all right we were all pumped we are this is kind of a long-winded story i guess but we'll we just cut it if it sucks but uh it was junior year we were all like hey let's all sign up for the same art class me and my buddies so we could all be in the same class how cool would that be and uh the next year they call us in. It's like the housing crisis shit, all that. Like our district was super affected. And uh, they call us into the counselor and he's like, yeah, we had, we cut all these classes. We don't think we can do this. Not enough kids signed up. You guys got to pick something else. And we were all like, uh, oh, well. Well, the principal walked by at that moment. He looks at us and he goes, uh, you know what? You kids seem like you really care about this. And we were like, okay. And he's like, I'll make it happen for you. So this art teacher had to teach four classes at the same time all different classes with all different students that really didn't give a shit and uh she was in a wheelchair because she was so obese and she beat cancer once right so she's kind of like a tough yeah. lady but she was also an asshole she'd call us she'd tell tell you to go get hit by a car out in the road right yeah. all this shit right 
And uh, one day I was like doing a project and she was just like, what are you, Willie? Like, you can't get this done? Like, how is it so bad, Willie? Oh my, f just go get, just go put it out in Schick Road and let it get That's destroyed. Crazy. And everybody's like moved on <laughs> to the next crying. thing. And I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> this bitch, dude. So I walked over to like, I'm like, no, I'm moving on. And I grabbed my sculpture that she wouldn't like approve. And I walked over, there's like a, a big shelf. And I, I walked, stood on the counter and up on the shelf was like the best art projects from the past year. And I pushed the one that was all the way on the end off and it just exploded onto the ground. And I put mine there and she rolls over in her wheelchair, like with her hands up, like, get that down, Willie, take it down right now. And I'm like, just cracking up. I just couldn't do it, bro. But yeah, we did That's pick on a, uh, a former cancer. I can't believe she student. I can't believe she would berate you like that. That that's, that doesn't seem like very good. Uh... I mean, we probably deserved it, but <laughs> okay. it was it was sort of like <laughs> a love hate relationship. Like when I, when I left, she goes, you "No, know I'll I'll never see you again." But uh, which is a good thing. But she was also like, "You did make me laugh." So okay, and it was like just kind of like a fair play Mutual moment. I was respect. only harsh menace on you because menace. I knew you could do. I I hated you, but also was... you made me laugh <laughs> once in a while. Me and a bunch of my friends, we were pissed at our principal, and we just moved his car. Like we pushed it, we moved it like a couple of parking spots over, and he thought it was missing, so he called the cops to try and find it because it was what not where he fuck? parked it. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I also froze another teacher's car to the ground. Uh, with how, how, the, how do you do that? Because it's minus like, forty what? in Montreal, and you pour a couple of garbage oh God, cans of water. God damn Canadians, it just free, bro! Freezes to the ground. You can't open the doors. That was another. God one. damn Canadians. So, that's actually so. <laughs> I, it was like we did i i didn't think it would work and then the teacher goes out and he tries to go in his car and he can't open the door and it's like, like oh, dick now you're late for something. it's a blizzard outside and he's just there with like one of those little ice like thingos the brushes and he's like starts brushing the windshield dude that is that is such a evil thing to be doing. Holy <laughs> shit, i would have gotten your ass expelled out of it Man, but but that's a uh, dude, man. I I miss the. Sometimes I take that school shit for granted, man. I'm I'm glad I never got put into the pen myself. Like, there were some close calls. Don't get me wrong. It was a weird kid growing up, but Jesus Christ, I feel like anybody that got put into the pen or something like that ended up turning out to be, you know, one of the, a ended up having a sex trafficker. Yeah, I agree. Okay, listen. Whoa, you, whoa. you, you ex, okay, Caleb, you, you become ex, okay. Think about it like this: you become an extreme version of something, right? Like. I bet 50% of the U.S. presidents were fenced off at some point, okay? They may be, dude. Shit growing up. I mean, how they many kids, Muda, were put into the pen? And then it's like it's like how I picture like what they say about like uh, the prison reform system. How many kids were put into the pen and then came out and they were like a less weird version of themselves? No, no, happened? there was a did the listen, pen there work? was a lot. Did the pen, there was a yeah. lot of no, no, no. The there was work? a lot. Don't get me wrong. There was a lot of recidivism. The the recidivism rate of the pen was quite high. What does that word mean? <laughs> Basically, uh, you come out for like three days and then you go back in. <laughs> Recommitting <laughs> crimes. Yeah. I, I just it's like eating crayons again right away. Yeah, exactly. I distinctly, I, I distinctly remember from second to sixth grade, I saw the same kid grow up in the pen and I knew about him because I always walked up and, and what was talked his name? to him through the Bernardo. We always talked to each other <laughs> through the Bernardo. fucking no. like, chain link. What the no, like fuck, we, we literally we literally talked to each other through the chain link. I just like, picture like a bunch like, of like first graders picking their nose and there's one sixth grader in there that's like oh, <laughs> these are my friends now. <laughs> That's what they did. And now you guys, now, now that I'm really thinking, I'm like, man, that's a really fucked up system, by the way, too. Like, how they could even allow. I hope to God it's not Rumble, in effect Rumble now. is sort of the pen now. True. It's the pen for content. The pen, the pen, yeah. yeah. It's the pen for content. Nobody allowed on YouTube is fucking putting it But, but see, this is what happens. When you have, like, 30 dudes in the pen, what does the content become? Yeah, and you really get, like, degenerate circus. in the pen. Everyone yeah. starts picking each other's nose instead of their own. <laughs> then well, they start well, inbreeding. Like, well, <laughs> oh, but that's the thing. It's like you're right about the inbreeding because, like, okay, Tate was the first guy that was sent to the pen. Then Sneeko followed in. Zerka came in. All these other dudes came in, and look what happened. Zerka f rose to the top. All right, Tate might be the most f up one legally, but socially, the other ones are all way weirder than him. Oh yeah. Oh, hundred percent. But but it's like but that's what I'm saying. It's like Tate in recent years had to like cool down a little bit. Like even in like most of his interviews, because he's not like as outlandish as he once was. And now it's funny because every time I see Zerka, he's like, "Yeah, Tate's a fucking baby, bro's like an agent of the Matrix and shit. I'm the real top G." And I'm like, "Bro, 
They're just like, and then like, watch a year or two down the later, Zerka's like, gonna be lighter. <laughs> Zerka's unironically like tweets every other day, like the Christians and Islams will have to go at war with each other. The Christians and Muslims will have to fight to the death. And then he's like, going over to Sneeko's house later, by the way. It's like, <laughs> it's like oh, okay, shit, dude. It's 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 the schizo shit kicking in, and I and I'll be real, man. Like I'm there for all of the goofy, funny stuff because. I think without that, the internet's just perpetually boring. Like, it's not even just like you run out of a, like, don't get me wrong. I, these guys are content farms, okay? It's like, shit, you can just milk it for all it's worth, you know, have a good time. Yeah. But ultimately, they're all, they also provide a ton of excitement. And I think uh, excitement and comedy comes to us because I think we're just smart enough to not get ensnared into the riz. But it is scary because, like, a lot of their audiences, man, they're just so young and they're not able to see past it or do, or not even young, but, like, some people just cannot do, like, the most basic critical level, like, research. Because, like, you guys said, right? Like, Caleb and... Well, uh, yeah, I don't expect, like, like, the average person that comes home from their job to go translate a bunch of Romanian fucking articles. Like, it's just, like, well, it takes I get why people think he's Google innocent. Translate. I, I don't blame them, like, trying, like thinking he's innocent because i thought he was too until i looked into it not innocent maybe but i thought oh maybe these charges are a little bit bs and i started like looking into it and i was like and i was wrong but like i don't expect the average person to do that and the bbc can't do that how do i expect the average joe to do it yeah but the bbc is also you know in trash. <laughs> what, <sighs> what else we got kids is that it what, what do you think I about think twitter think- x I don't know. This, this Bro, more the heck, wait, is it called really Twitter X? It's just called X. No, it's just it's X. By the stop dead naming it, bro. All right. Oh heard. no, no, no. <laughs> who's, who's got paid by it? Anybody got a payout no. from X? Nope. I have not. I might move my Patreon over there. That seems, dude. I think it's gonna. I think it's gonna be a Patreon competitor. That subscription system's way better. He said he's not taking anything until you make a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, fucking which all right, like cool. You know, you know the thing about it is like I, I feel like I'm the only one that's gonna give Elon like a little bit of like actual credit because it's so easy to hate on him right now. Uh, he said like the other like a week ago is like Twitter's gonna be like half the world's financial like system. A lot of hopium, by the way. There, like he's definitely it's not bold. gonna be the case. Uh-uh. But I think if he, I think, I think if he parlays X into like a. Uh, payment processor or something down the road maybe because it would be kind of cool to have like the one it just becomes only fans 2.0 it well, will be not just only fans but like i think twitter would be cool if it became like a de facto like apple pay or something like that you know what i mean like where we paid through twitter and it became kind of like a you know paypal like clone because it, it is really intuitive and easy to use and sending money back and forth would be really cool. it would be really easy um, wouldn't it yeah yeah it'd be cool it'd be uh he wanted to name PayPal X, and they ended up throwing him to the wayside. They didn't listen. So he comes back. He spends $44 billion. 30 years later. He made Tesla later, just to get He buys Twitter. He names it X, and he turns it into PayPal. It's all coming around. I, He's a pimp. Dude, that f- with him so much that time. He's like, at pimp. one moment, to not... Like, like if, if you think about it, it's like the ultimate, like, fucking... Is the ultimate revenge arc. I thought it was a troll that it was becoming X, and then I like look at the website one day, and I'm like, wait, it, this happened in like a, a day and a half. What the I fuck? thought it was a joke. Yeah, I, I genuinely so thought it was a f- joke. I was like, dude, what? now that I open up the application, it's like, oh shit, that's not a porn tab. Okay, that's there basically is, is, dude. I feel like half my responses and in, in, uh, DMs that aren't public is like just OnlyFans constantly, OnlyFans bots all the time. X, dude, X, like the thing about it is, man. It, how do you buy something for $44 billion and then just destroy the brand name? The brand name, it's right? Like, it's in Twitter. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Dude, at that I point, mean, who cares? Right? Yeah, it's exactly. It's not about it's the like money. Could... It's about sending the message. He's in this for yeah, the memes. He... he doesn't care about... At... He's like... it's a, He's too rich for it. And also the thing is, like, he, like you guys kind of said, it's like, this is the ultimate revenge arc, bro. He, like, he got ousted from paypal years ago bro makes a space exploration company makes an ev dude well that may- buys an ev car company pushes it to the top and now he's like a fan. now he's back in thread should be now renamed to, to twitter it. this is their moment this is how they retake back like the the market share this we should a- start a twitter podcast called twitter yes dude twitter.com dude, uh, dude you know what here's the thing threads should just take the twitter yes name. fuck it 
Yes, Zuck, with the ultimate comeback. Dude, I, I'm just, I'm like blown away. I can't wait for, I, this is why I like Elon Musk is the wildest dude to me. Other universes have like their Iron Mans and shit and like Bat, like Batman exists in another universe, you know, like one of the richest dudes in the world, mentally ill, like a motherfucker dresses up like a bat, flies around New York City beating the shit out of other mentally ill people. That's another universe right there. I'm in. You've got I feel Elon like that's kind of this universe just online. Yeah, where do you, okay, but that's what I'm saying. It's like we don't have a Batman, you know? I would fucking cream if we had a Batman. Andrew Tate you know, like, hires people to go beat up people talking shit on Twitter. That's a thing. It's kind of <laughs> yeah, close. It's like just, the closest thing we got. It's like an evil that's Batman. Just, that's just it's like a famous, Batman bro. that preaches about how like porn's <laughs> fucked up and then goes on camera and jerks off, but it's there. I guess. Well, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed the other uh, bashing of the red pill today. Um, I know that it might piss a very tiny subsect of our audience off now, but it is what it is. They'll live, ladies and they will live. They will. Zerka grow stands. Out will... Zerka. Do, Zerka even, stands. do you think there exists a Zerka stand in your audience? Any of ours? No, I don't. I don't either. even think Zerka's just... own audience stands him. <laughs> that's how you know he's got a he's like It's like Aiden Ross's audience. They just like perpetually bully him, and that's like the, <laughs> the interactions there. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, this was Willie Mac. Uh, Willie, you got uh, anything coming out beyond just the Andrew Tate fourth uh, episode? I got an Andrew Tate response, and then I got a Pearl video, which is she's basically just like uh, – She's like an Andrew Tate, but she can't articulate anything. So she's just like extra stupid. Let's go. I've seen her. She just says the stupid stuff with no reasoning well, behind it. Enjoy, if, but she also doesn't traffic people. A little so bit of I a mean, dub there. It, yeah. Yeah, there's well, some dubs you enjoy, well, I don't think she's smart enough to know how to traffic people. But hey, if you enjoy cyberbullying the dumbest people in our social influence circle, Willie Mack is one of your content creators right there. Uh, Let's go. As well, he is a he is he's got a lighter touch when it comes to making fun of these people. And rest assured, they are made fun of. And Nux Talkie, if you enjoy great animated content, and also me, if you're absolutely bored out of your mind, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, you had a great week. We love you. Uh, everything. You know, if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Just like it if you dislike it. We're out.